Why is my cup empty? Perhaps because you have drunk the barrel dry? Damn beer stand. It's Lord. Ah, a heroic looking Dane in our midst. I am looking for Beerstan, the elderman of this shire. Our lord is not at home, but his wife is receiving visitors upstairs, in her usual fashion. If you speak with her, pass on that we've run out of ale. Beerstan, his household is as poorly run as his land. Estrid is a good wife, far better than he deserves. You would say that, Adrid. Your wife acts like a sow in a skirt. My sweater runner's a worthy woman, you coxcomb. She's an excellent cook, with a fine nose for truffles. If Bilston does not return soon, wine will not be the only thing. Now, gentlemen, everyone is fractious with this waiting. Let us be civil at least. You! Guards will come at one cry from me! Sheathed your blade, lady. I am Eivor of the Raven Clan, here at your husband's request. Another Dane. I am Estrid, wife of the Lord of Essex. As you may have heard, my lord is not at home. I am weary of rounding up Saxons. Is your husband stolen, drunk, or wayward? He'll be stalking the woodlands today, hunting game and ignoring the vital affairs of Essex. One such affair is why we called for you. If I can find him, I will remind him of his duties. Ah, such would be a miracle. His favorite haunt is southwest of here. The lavender fields there attract the prey, God help him. With luck he hasn't been eaten, but I will return either way. is a godly virtue, Adred. Even the saints would tire of waiting for Beer Stan to hang up his bow. Dear Estrid, we must discuss the affairs of this land, with or without him.
Hunting is a fine sport. Hunting is a fine sport. Hunting is a fine sport, but I hope the Elderman has not become the prey. No good comes from a camp this bloody. They were caught off guard as they supped. of the hunting party. This one was savaged by a large animal. They were attacked by a beast. Something strong enough to kill a horse. Some large prey left these tracks in the grass. The hunters were prey to a large beast or two. I can only hope that Beeston still lives. Go, Sunan. Or accept your fate as a beast for bears. Your ah, no strikes true. Well fought, friend. I would not have survived this ambush without you. You have my gratitude. To stumble upon me in my moment of greatest peril. Perhaps you were God sent. I am Estrid sent. Your wife and the thanes of Essex both want your balls on a blacksmith's anvil. When do they not? You could return and report that the savage claw took me. Poor Beerstan, his exit pursued by a bear. And make the beast lord of Essex in your stead. No doubt my Estrid would prefer his velvet paws to my calloused hands. So, who are you? A sellsword? You speak ill of your wife. Has your love faded, or were you ill-matched? As family, we are as close as Cain and Abel. She is a willful woman, and I am a bad husband. You know me, it seems. Only by reputation. A deliciously teasing sentiment. I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. You hinted at an alliance for the loan of my unique talents. It's blood, yes. Let us return to Colchester at once, and we'll speak more of the delicate matter on my mind. I'm glad you answered my summons. I did not expect such a skilled fighter. It's good I came when I did. You lost me. It's good I came when I did. You lost many men on this hunt. Good men. Oh. Yeah. They will have the proper rights and their families will be cared for. Your people sacrificed much for your sport. They did. There is no balm for my tortured heart. Why did you ask me here? Do you believe in true love, Eivor? I have loved. But have you truly? Has a longing burned in your breast, a sweet lingering pain, paralyzing you with its sting? There is pain enough in battle. I do not seek it out in love. I long for it. The thrill of a fight softly won. My wife basically lacks fire. She is a fish out of water, cold and dead. She showed great passion when I... 
Shall we continue? She showed great passion when I met her, keeping your things in oh, check. Oh, they love her, it is true. Some with too much devotion. And I have not been a good and attentive... Need to cloak myself here. Been a plucked goose in matters of love. And a piss-poor ruler to boot. Strong must be the hand that steers the ship, Beeston. My hand would rather tug the cat gut of a well-crafted bow. My eyes narrowing at the sight of prey. Aye, a crown sits heavy on the head. Then let us run wild and free in the woods as the wolves do. Live on our wits, prowl and stalk and feast. You have a romantic way about you, Beeston. Do not fret. My guards will not worry you when we are together. You must mark me if you think I'm capable of worry. Have you built your city in the ruins of another? No, these builders are lost to the annals of time. Far advanced of the Saxon hovels of Wattle and Daub, I have ambition to build a great palace myself, with mosaics and balmy courtyards. What stops you? That which stops all but the most creative minds. Coin, imagination, talent. And your people. Is Essex happy? That is a question I never really ponder. I suppose they are. I hope they are. Alfred believes I rule like a chickless hen, flapping and squawking over nothing but the farmer's dinner. He interferes. No, he disapproves. Is that not infinitely worse? But look, we are nearing my hall. I must face the wolves at my door before... Ready to help me fend off the spears of their displeasure? Let them speak their woes. I'll advise you if I can. Who is this owl, Beeston, that twitters in your ear? An advisor, nothing more. Here to help Essex navigate her brewing storms. Now, my dear brethren, Adred, perhaps you will start us off. What troubles you? You're a disgrace, Beeston. Couldn't get a sow pissed in an alehouse. Alfred's men are crawling all over Essex. King Alfred, yes. Though it is within his right, the constant presence of his men is certainly an issue. Alfred will get bored soon enough. He has bigger pikes to bake than are to be found in this stolid backwater. Alfred's forces are only here because of Estrid's failed kidnap. Now that she is safe, they will soon be gone. And you, Wyatt, what do you say? Your preparations for the Lammas Festival. How can you think of spending so much coin when your people are starving? Often should one make an early meal, nor fasting come to the feast. The feast, yes. The festival. This is not for full bellies, but to bless the loaf. Does that not bring us all good fortune? And Aldrich, do you yap like a she-hound as Adred does? You know my thoughts, Beerston. The feared. How can we give men to Alfred for his wars when our harvest suffers day by day? Beware of sleep on a witch's bosom, nor let her limbs ensnare you, for she will not bring an early harvest. I, uh... Bosoms, that? Uh... No. I'm afraid I don't know what that means, Abel. There! Have I not answered all your questions? You are a stain on this shire, beer stand. Useless. Useless. That's right. Yet still you haunt my hall. Be gone. I haven't time for your squabbling. That ceased their prattling. A fine outcome, Abel. The very soul of thumbs. A firm hand is all you need, Birsten. Uh. Whether on your hunting bow or on your helm. All this talk of hunting makes me long for the woods. Your wife awaits, Birsten. Are you not worried some other man will drench her sheets with his sweat? Ha! <laughs> she does as she must. As do I. You have done the impossible, Dane. 
returned my errant gander to his coop. My pettish love. Such a stormy countenance clouds the sun of my return. Your thanes drank the ale the abbot gifted us. All of it. Now that is a tragedy my heart will not easily overcome. If he looked at me with the same affection he shows for hunting deer, our marriage might have survived. I noticed your love has gone sour. Was it fresher than this? <laughs> there is so little difference between love and hate. It's difficult to say where the sourness comes from. So, what do you need of me? Our affairs are more of heart than of state, Eivor. What little passion there was between us faded into bickering long ago. We would have our freedom, Eivor. I from my wife, and my wife from Essex. I am too sharp a weapon for so soft a task. Why not part and be done with it? Oh, were I a Dane, and divorce as simple as a slit throat. But it's not so easy as that. Explain yourselves, clear and plain, and I will do it. The poetry here is mind mud. We had a plan, a simple plan. A woman lost and a woman found. Some time ago, we paid a Dane to kidnap me and ferry me safely to Francia. As you can see, he did not deliver. He was certainly thorough in other regards. Some Norse can be quick to take coin and slow to earn it. If I give my word, it is not broken. Could we try the kidnap again? Much of the planning is done. It would only take a more trustworthy overseer. It should be a bold venture if we do. Loud and brash and seen by all. During our Lamas festival, merry peasants and guards with wandering eyes. Your return to Frankia would need a swift ship with a captain ready to leave England. We could ask him. I would have thought his steed and seamen spent. Come find me in the market, Evo. Our unwelcome guests require food and ale to soften their anger. My wife is a gracious and attentive host, Evo. The only thing that keeps my brain thanes at bay. And the woman found? A darling Maybud, Alvida, my childhood sweetheart. I left her twenty years ago in Malden to marry my prickled pear. Twenty years? Can an ember so cold be reignited? We can hope. You must fan the flame. Find her, bring her to my lakeside cottage, and light a bonfire there. I will know to come. I believe she lived in the last house in Malden. A small, sweet place where fond memories were made. I will do as you both ask, and ask Freya for success in this love game. Good luck in your endeavors, Eivor. I pray you find my Alvida with a fair face and a yearning heart. Now, should I look for Alvida first, or meet with Estrid at the marketplace? This 
place would have been impressive once, a long time ago. I came first to help you. Your needs seemed more pressing. And now my marriage awaits your executioner's sword. Will it not be strange to leave this place? You have lived here half your life. Yes, but what is to keep me here? A loveless union and the dirt mounds of two babes who never took a breath. You speak with some sadness. Has your time here always been tragic? There have been tears, but also great passions. Love, foolishness, regret. Yet, is that not all lives? The best lived of them? And what of our plan, the Great Lama's Kidnap? Is this a Christian feast? Yes, it's a wonderful evening. A blessing of the harvest. Full of fruits and fires, drinking and dancing. Revelers with muddy minds and glazed eyes. That's good for us. And what of the ship that will sail you home? I know just the one, and her captain is full of fire. Come, I will take you to him. This captain, who is he? Not much more than a boy in his 17th year. Full of youthful bravado. A Saxon. A Dane, though Adred calls you raiders. He says that you are here to steal England. Some may be. But I've come to settle a stretch of land. I'm not so keen to return to the winters of my birth in Norway. Norway? Ah! It must be beautiful. Rugged and fearsome, and cold as anything, the frozen north. So cold that the light hangs in the sky. A road for the Valkyries who carry our dead warriors to their eternal feast. An eternal feast would be a merry end. We are here. This is a brothel. The captain's name is Rolfur, called Rollo in my tongue. Tell him of our new plan and agree to whatever reward he demands. He may take some convincing, for we did not part on the best of terms. I will bring him round by force or persuasion. Just be ready for my signal at the Lama's festival. Please, I'm just a poor Christian brother with nothing left to give. Someone's at the door, Rolla. Oh, is it that hun I asked for? Estrid sent me. Did she now? As a parting gift for the man who rattled her bones, huh? <laughs> no, I'm here to collect you. Can it wait? Call Rolo. The king's men want to ask him a few questions. 
No, 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 no. Just a second. Good day, sir. Come in. Move! Move! Some help here? Bloody fucking Danes. Open this door! Out! Now! Follow me. <laughs> we found your camp, Dane. Your friends are all trussed up. No one's helping now. Estrid did not lie. You have fire. And who are you to Estrid? Only a friend. I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. Norse by the music of your speech. Then you must forgive me. Those Saxons knew about my camp. I was mind drunk to leave my warriors behind. Go to your men if you must. Only tell me where to find you. We have much to talk about. Northeast of here, by the river's mouth. Follow me or come when you can. Saxon bastards! Rollo the imprudent? I'll show them. I'll be Rollo the Gelda soon enough! Or Rollo the Screamer if you don't keep it down. Was it you who gave Ivar the Boneless his name? I hear talk of his deeds around the campfire, but his name I never understood. He was boneless before I met him. Now he's bones on a pyre, that's all I know for sure. And King Alfred? Can you imagine their king in the sky blanket tear sand? He'd be bluer than my father on nights the mead is strong. He'd fall asleep in the snow with a dog keeping him warm. Ah, this talk makes me long for the old times. The good old times. Wow. 
out. It's worse than I feared. So many of my people gone. And the rest at each other's throats. They believe one of your number is a traitor? Lork and Gerhild have been at my side all season. I don't like to doubt them, but my people are taken and my ship is gone. If the traitor lives, all of you are at risk. Let me talk to them. The innocent have nothing to hide. Very well. But do not let Loki whisper lies in your ear. While you were drinking and whoring, Rollo, the Saxons attacked us. And these two were nowhere to be found. Neither betrayed us, Ake. Gerhild is my sworn shield sister. And Lork served my father well. Seems like the Saxons didn't get all of... Lork, yes? What is your story? You want to hear my story? And bring me a mug of ale, and we'll sit and talk as equals. Elsewise, you can hang. Where were you when the Saxons came? Hunting rabbits, wasn't I? Sick to death of carrots and turnips. Then I heard Gerhild shouting, and all hell broke loose. Did you see anything at all? Gerhild talking with a Saxon. Couldn't hear them, but wasn't nothing good. Sure of that much. Why should I believe you? You could be lying to save your own skin. Ask her. Says she's loyal to Rollo, but I've known her since she was a babe. Full of spite and ambition, always was. How long has your sword served Rollo? I owe his father a blood oath. If that means wiping Rollo's arse until I die, so be it. And if Rollo was dead, that oath would be fulfilled. You must tire of battle. I'll feast in Odin's Hall one day, but not with the stain of dishonor on my hands. I have what I need for now. Seems like the Saxons didn't get all of Rollo's clan. I should speak to both and see if Gerhild is it. I, Rollo's sworn sword sister. I've served him proud and true. You cannot think I betrayed him. You were not here when the Saxons attacked. I was hunting. There's fine game in the trees outside the camp, and our people need meat. What was your prey? Rabbits for stew. Rolo's favorite. Who are you to Rolo? I am shield sworn, so long as England and that Frankish witch do not sway him from the true path. Our people deserve better. I hear envy, but of Estrid or Rolo, I cannot tell. You know nothing, Ravenbeak. My concern is for my fellow Danes. You'll find no treachery here. Log accused you of treachery. He saw you with the Saxon. Log? You believe that old crow? His bones crumble and his mind wanders with age. Or he wallows in jealousy. Take your pick. That is all for now. I should speak to both and see if I can find some evidence around the camp. I might find some evidence to test their stories. I should speak to both and see if I can find some evidence around the camp. While you were drinking and whoring, Rollo, the Saxons attacked us. And these two were nowhere to be found. Neither betrayed us, Ake. Gerhild is my sworn shield sister, and Lork served my father well. Seems like the Saxons didn't get all of Rollo's clan. No need to hunt when the camp is full of fresh kills. Looks like a good spot to hide. Somewhere to wait out a Saxon attack. <coughs> Gerhild, can we speak again? You're lying. I found rags and rags of game. You've got more wit than your face suggests. 
I went to meet a lad from a nearby village. Rolo's not the only one who dallies with locals. That is all, for now. Lork. You're lying. I found a rack full of game nearby. Enough to feed the camp for days. Told you! I was hunting. Stick to that story and I'll tell Rolo to take your treacherous head. I was sleeping in the forest, wasn't I? Heard Saxons tramping through the trees, so I hid. Not fool enough to face him on my own. I have what I need for now. Have you made your decision? Lork said he was hunting, but your rags are full of fresh rabbits. Why would he lie? Unless he had something to hide. He tires of his blood oath, and with your death, he would be free. He has become old and frail, but he served my father well. I would have freed him without bloodshed. This man knew the Saxons were coming and hid. He was either in league with them, or a coward. A sad fall for a great warrior no longer in his prime. Have you come to a firm conclusion? I have. Let me hear it. Both choices will pain me, but let it be the truth. Lork betrayed you. Lies! And curse you, boy, for letting this outsider sway your heart. A shameful death on bloody Saxon soil. There can be no feast in Valhalla for a break faith. He served my father, but he always thought me a callow lackbeard. Nothing more can be done here, but your warriors might still be alive. And I will need your help after they are free. There's a Saxon camp with a dock at Port Walton. It might be they were taken there. I told you I was loyal. How dare you doubt me? Forgive me, Geralt. But even now, there are some who will. You should make yourself scarce for a while. I've heard of a safer place than this south of Colchester. Let's you and I go take a look, shall we? I am sorry that your people suffer, Rolo. Thank you, Eivor. I have much to think on as we journey. I'll leave you to those thoughts. Stretch your wings, Sunan.
Best not to draw attention here. Plump hens. Oh, preserve me. What's that about?
so much. Bad. It's a feast of Saxon blood! Discuss the terms of the kidnap. Your axe arm is strong, Rolo. Never doubt me, Raven Feeder. These Saxon king slaves did. I need someone with a swift wave steed in good repair to bring the Lady Estrid across the sea to Frankia. Another kidnap scheme. Estrid is unshakable. All right, then. Let we two triumph where one failed. I need you stout-hearted in this, whatever your passions for Estrid. We had our time together. Now that's done. I will not fail you here, nor her. We will meet with your men inside Colchester, on the night of the Lama's Festival. Must be blocked from the other side.
Bard. I need your eyes, my friend. Will Olvida remember a lover from so long ago? Would I? and Malden. All of it should be here.
longer. You have my sister. Is that not enough? Peace, boy. I'm not with these men. I came to speak with your sister, that's all. A day in Essex. Now here's a day riddled with strange portents and happenings. What is your name? I'm Ellerich, the man of this house. Who are you? And why have you come? I'm looking for your sister, at the behest of another. Behest? We've got no money to speak of, and my sister is well past the marrying age. Do you know where they're holding Alvida? Yet another stay at the King's pleasure. The prison camp at Brentwood, far to the west. I'll bring her to the lake house north of there. Meet us there if you wish. If you promise you will find her, I will. <laughs> 